So this mower was just put into my hands. Needs some work, but it's got compression. I've already uh, sorted out the control cable. It's a little locked up. It actually needs a little bit more work. Um, I'm gonna pull the recoil off and replace uh, the pull cord. And I've got a good use gas tank and carburetor that's gonna go on it. And this is the carburetor that was included with it. Could probably make it work again, believe it or not. Um, but it definitely needs to be uh, rebuilt and cleaned out. All right, so pull these two bolts out. Those are longer than normal. Oh, Black Widow check. There are none. So now I'll just undo these two. And now we'll undo the recoil. Black Widows. Surprising. And according to the date code, this is a 2003 model. So I did notice that the coil was a little out of spec, so I ended the two bolts. You can do this with a business card or with something like this. It doesn't really matter. So we're just going to align it. go. Spins nice and freely now. Was contacting the magnet side of the flywheel on both sides, but now it isn't. And it's got a nice healthy gap in between. All right, so I did opt to replace the cord on this one. It's much better now. So we'll stick this back on. Make sure everything is mostly lined up. And then can't forget this piece. And it does have the O-ring that's inside of the throat there. Make sure the PCV line is in place. Thread that bolt in. Same with this one. All right, so the gas tank is on. Did opt to use a different bolt because that black one I had was not long enough. So make sure the governor linkage is okay. Now I just have to reinstall this little spring. Don't want to lose that little gasket either. All right. Looks like we've got a, I believe that's an R22, or an R44 maybe. I think the R44 is the bigger model. Robinson. Nifty little helicopters. Before we drop it on the ground, I do want to remove and replace this plug with a better plug. Regardless if it works or not. Because I really do not like these E3 plugs. This one's actually kind of funky, but no big deal here. I'm going to put a good use plug on it. So naturally, good use champion. So we'll get it on the ground, throw some gas in her, see what we can get to happen, go from there. 
Now if everything fires off okay, um, I'll be pulling the blade off when I do the oil, but I want the oil nice and warm before I decide to drain it. All right, so I just filled it up with gas. Oil's good, I checked it. We will be changing it. That's somewhat promising. Probably some water in the cylinder. run for a bit. Alright, so let's change the oil and check that blade. Hopefully it's just out of balance and it's not a bent crank. So safety first. Remove the plug wire. And I also undo the oil dipstick just to get a little bit better airflow. We'll be doing this from the bottom. You guys can see that little drain bolt right there. That guy right there. It's gonna be a little hot. That's really to be expected. There it is. All right, so now I'm gonna put some oil in. Which is 20% Lucas oil stabilizer, which I've had good luck with in small engines. And the rest of it, which makes up for um, about 14 ounces, 15 ounces, is just normal SAE 30 motor oil. You guys can kind of see some of the uh, Lucas. And I did mix it up. So, go ahead and let that set. I'm going to throw the blade on, which I did find a good used one, and uh, we'll see if that made a difference. a little bit of a shake but it's definitely a lot better than it was so I just serviced up this air filter now it's ready to be installed all right so I don't know about you guys who do the same thing I do but these damn screws are always so hard to find and thankfully I had one of these in uh, my carburetor air hat box because I'm always short on these I see so many of these engines um, they always come in missing the entire air hat or the gas tank or whatever else, um, just like this one did actually. And uh, so I end up running short on these all the time. So any uh, engine that I scrap, for whatever reason, I always salvage everything I can, um, especially these screws. And so far, Well, so here we are. We're all put back together. Good used blade, brand new pull cord. Sharpen that blade. 
good used tank and carburetor, brand new air filter, and a good used air hat screw. Same with the spark plug, and of course the uh, oil change. Overall, this thing came out pretty good. Not too bad for being as old as it is and the conditions it was taken from. It was sitting on the side of somebody's house for who knows how long. Still see a little bit of the moss on the side of the bag, but I'm not really too worried about that. I got, the mo I got most of it off. So everything's in pretty good shape. I checked the oil, the oil is at the correct level. Let's go ahead and run it for a little bit. Like I said, it didn't come out too bad. I was able to bring some of the uh, paint shine back, but it's nowhere near perfect. Might be able to get 80 or 100 bucks for this, depending on uh, how the market is right now. We'll see. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. You all stay classy.